All right, so for today's topic video, we're going to be discussing the difference between relative and cumulative frequency for a given set of data. So let us suppose that we had 100 students who needed to attend orientation, and we wanted to track, and it had to happen by the end of the week, and we wanted to track how many showed up on each day, and overall how long it took for everybody to show up. So what we would do is, first of all, we need our data. So let's say that on Monday, 24 of the students showed up. Let's say that on Tuesday, 30 of the students showed up. On Wednesday, it's 18, 16. And then on Thursday, it's 18. And then on Friday, 12 of the students show up. So if you add all those up, you should be getting 100. And so first of all, let's discuss relative frequency. We know this is supposed to add up to 100 in total. And what relative frequency is, is just on each individual day, what percentage of the total students who need to show up, show up. So on Monday, 24 out of 100 students show up. So that is, and I'll put the relative frequencies down here, and then we'll make a chart. So the relative frequency for Monday would be 24 divided by 100, which comes out to be 0.24. But if I write that as a percentage, that would be 24%. Since these are all out of 100, I can just convert these straight to percentages. Of course, if you had a different number, you'd need to do that division first and see what decimal value you got. So this is going to be 24%. 30 out of 100 show up on Tuesday for 30%. 16 out of 100 on Wednesday for 16%. 18% on Thursday. And 12% on Friday. So let's construct a relative frequency graph for this. And I'll also have cumulative frequency, which we'll talk about in a bit. So first, here's the relative frequency graph. Down here, I'm going to have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And if I look at my percentages, I see that the highest percentage that ever happens is 30%. So that's going to be as high up as I go. So I'm going to take mark this by mm, fives. I have the room to do fives, so I'll do that. So it's going to be 5%, and I'll just sort of make the 10% bars longer. That's going to be 10%, 15, 20%, 25, and 30%. 30 OK, now let's get to making our graph. So on Monday, 24% of the people show up. So that's going to be about here, right below the 25 mark. So let's go ahead and put that together like that. On Tuesday, 30% of the students show up. That's going to go all the way to the top of our data here. Make that bar. On Wednesday, we only get 16%. So that's going to be just past the 15% mark. There we go. Thursday, we have 18%. So that's a little bit more. And finally, on Friday, we have 12%. So that's going to be just above 10% right here. OK, so this is the relative frequency histogram because it's just showing what's the percentage on Monday, what's the percentage on Tuesday, what's the percentage on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, individually, on their own. Now, of course, if you add all these up, you will get 100%, but the graph just focuses on each individual day. In comparison, what the cumulative frequency does is it adds it up as you go. And so instead of asking what percentage showed up on each individual day, when I give you a day, I will be telling you the percentage that have showed up thus far. So on Monday, 24% will have shown up. Then on Tuesday, when 30 more show up, 24 plus 30 is 54. Likewise, 24% and then another 30% is 54%. And so I'm saying on Tuesday, 54 or not on, but by Tuesday, 54% of the students who are supposed to appear for orientation have shown up. That means that up to that point, I've gotten 54% of the students. Likewise, Wednesday, 16 show up. So that's a 70% now. So on Wednesday, 16% of the students showed up. By Wednesday, 70% of the students showed up. See how this is going? So on Thursday, we have 18 for 88% altogether. And then finally, 88 plus 12, we're up to 100%. Now let's make the cumulative frequency bar graph. So this one I'm going to need more space for. Mm -hmm. Let's use, let me just push a little harder here. Come on, give me my graph. 
And then I'll go ahead and put this axis here. So I'm going to have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday again. Now I'm going to have 100%. So now I'm going to go by tens because that'll make the graph easier for me to draw. So let's do 10%, 20%, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And there we go. OK. Now, let's actually plot the cumulative frequency. So on Monday, it's not all that different. We have 24% of the people show up. So that would be about here, just below half, between 20 and 30, so just below 25. Then what happens is on Tuesday, we still have this amount, and then 30% more show up, so we're up to 54%. So that's going to be about here, again, right below the 55 mark. So now we have that by Tuesday. Wednesday, 16% more show up. So if I add that in, I'm up to 70%. So that's up here. Mm -hmm. Thursday, 18 more, so 88%. It's going to be all the way up here. And then finally, Friday, we're at 100%. Now, of course, this is assuming everyone shows up. If, if someone didn't show up and we had 99%, we would just graph who did show up. And the fact that this didn't get up to 100% would be telling us that some people did not show up. Or you could figure out some other way to set that up as well. So notice, that is the heart of the difference between relative and cumulative frequency. Relative is how much has happened on this particular day or at this time, how much happened on this. Whereas cumulative frequency is how much happened by this day or time or however you're doing it. And so there we go. With the idea that we've got 100 students who need to appear for orientation, and they all show up on each different day, that is the difference between relative frequency and cumulative frequency for today's topic.